Thomas Vaughn, T H O M A S V A U G H A N. Okay. Put that mic a little closer for me, Scott. Yeah, sure. Yeah. And uh, would you say your job title is here? Um, tackle. Okay. What's the name of the place? Stop and Shop. Okay. So uh, I guess tell us what's the general attitude like this time around after Irene? After Irene, people are getting a little bit more prepared. Uh, you can tell that by going to the grocery stores now. Um, some people are leaving. Uh, yeah. about so what about you? Last year for Irene, you left. What did you come back to? Disaster. Um, dumpster, 1,200-pound dumpsters in the water. Uh, boats everywhere. Just hell, I guess. <laughs> so why did you leave last year and why are you staying this year? Because it's not going to be as bad as last year's hurricane. Uh, last year's was pretty bad. What do people seem to be buying right now? Beer. Beer, more beer. <laughs> so do you, what are people saying they're going to do? Are they going to uh, stick around? Yeah, ride it out. Okay. You talked about hurricane parties earlier. You hearing stuff about that? Oh, yeah. Um, our deli manager is actually having a hurricane party tonight, which starts at 7. So can't wait. Oh, I'll ask where that is. Uh, no, you don't have to. <laughs> I'm just uh, kidding. <laughs> uh, so... I guess have you you've been on the beach? Have you you know how do, how do the waves look this year compared to last year? Last year they were a lot bigger. Um, this year they're calling for I think 13 to 15 max. Uh, last year was probably 15 to 17 I think in some parts. Um, it's choppy today though. Now have you heard much about like tourists? Do you have any tourists this time of year? Oh yeah, there's a. Uh, a lot of Ohioans and Pennsylvanians. Do they seem at all concerned? Not really. Okay. Not really. Think of anything else there? It's cool, sell a lot of beer. Yeah. Okay. Beer, beer, cool. beer, beer, more beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay. It's really windy out here. Okay. How did you prepare for the storm? Um, for us, we had to do a bunch of digging out to move the sand so that the water that is going to rush down our street, so that it will flush down towards the end of the street and not in our house. Um, sandbags. Um, and then, you know, just like food and all that kind of stuff. Okay. How concerned are you after Irene? More concerned, less concerned? Less concerned. Okay. Uh, how, do, how do the waves, how's the weather compare right now compared to how Irene was? Mmm. I, I think about the same right now. Okay. Are you, you're planning to ride this thing out? Oh, yes. Okay. What happened during Irene with your place? Um, just a little bit of water, but nothing really major. Okay. We live right across the street, so okay. we were okay. The Are sound, the sound got it bad. Right. Are most of the neighbors sticking around? Are they concerned? Um, no. <laughs> That's a pretty relaxed attitude, I guess, this time around. Um, I would say so. I mean, we're still preparing, but I don't think anybody's leaving. Okay. No. Yeah. Good. Great. Excellent. Okay. What do you think of it? I think it's amazing. It's beautiful. I mean, as long as everyone's safe, I feel like there's no, not no harm that can come. Okay. As long as everyone prepares. What, what did you do to prepare? Well, we just went shopping in a bunch of places, got all our well, need be things, locked up the house this morning, put all the things that could fly away away, and we're going home to chill and play games. <laughs> okay, what kind of games? What kind of games? Um, board games. <laughs> <laughs> board games, just watching TV okay. and hanging out with okay. the family. Gonna keep coming outside, see how things look for a while? If it doesn't get as bad as how Irene did, definitely. Okay, what do you think of these waves? These waves are huge, but they're beautiful. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Not a problem. All right, have fun. Right. Thanks. See ya. What's that? I got your name on camera. Yeah. What was it again? Tammy. 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 Okay, cool. Thank you, Tammy. Y'all have fun. So you didn't? Okay. All right. All right, what do you Ready? want me to say? Uh, I'll ask you the question. Okay. You'll know. Okay. If you don't like it, you can start over. Okay. All right. All right, you're good. Okay? Yeah. All right. Now, tell us your first and last name. And you can look at me. My name's Melissa Herring. How do you say your last name? H-E-R-R-I-N-G. Okay, are you from here? I'm from Kitty Hawk. Okay, so uh, what do you think of the storm so far? Um, It's pretty intense. I didn't think it was going to be this bad. We went through Irene last year. And um, I didn't think this was going to be much of a problem, but it's it's looking pretty bad. Okay, the so, worst, so the worst of the weather is not supposed to get here until Sunday night and Monday. How yeah. concerned are you about this storm? I'm very concerned. I mean, I've, I've batten down the hatches at home, yeah. but, uh, you know, I'm concerned. Hopefully, I mean, we have food, we have milk, you know, bread, all the good things we need, staples. And uh, we're going to ride it out after work. I can't skip work, so I'll be back on Monday. What do you do for work? And I'm a pharmacist. Okay. So people need their medication. You gotta be there. People need their insulin, their heart medication, blood pressure medication, so I gotta go. Okay. What's the general attitude of people around here for this one? Um, I don't think people are really, you know, we've been through so many storms. And uh, last year we went through Irene, which made people, you know, I guess more concerned now. Yeah, so I think a lot of people are really more concerned than they were, you know, in years past. But there's people here that you need to ride out storms every year and you kind of get immune to it and you, you think, oh, it's just another storm. But I don't know, this one kind of concerns me and some of my and my friends, so. So even though it's a, it's a weaker storm, even Irene was just last year, so that keeps so fresh that this still is a big deal. Yeah, it is, yeah. Okay. Exactly.
Do you want to say first and last name? You okay with that? I'm Mike Kenny. Okay, I'm Mike again. Kenny. How do you spell last name? K E N N E Y. Uh, what do you from, do? from Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. And uh, I'm in the restaurant equipment business. We design restaurants. And we're coming down here to see how our restaurants are doing in the Outer Banks with this massive storm that's coming in. And it's tremendous right now. If you can see the ocean, which I guess you can. Uh, we're very worried about the uh, high water that's coming in and uh, our restaurants that we've had trouble with in past storms. But other than that, we're truly enjoying the storm. Okay. Are you gonna, how long are you staying down here for? Uh, probably a couple days uh, through the storm. And uh, uh, we have our crews in Norfolk, Virginia, naturally. Uh, standing by to come down here to help us out with the restaurants. If we have a lot of problems, with the food industry, uh, water problems. We think it's a water problem. Okay. Now, knowing that the worst of this won't pass for another 48 hours, how does that does that concern you at all? That it's already like this? Well, this is uh, this is pretty strong right now. This is uh, the you know the uh, the ocean, the waves, and everything coming in is very very massive. Uh, we, we're, we're not concerned about it uh, as much as the local people that have businesses here that's uh, going to really be affected by this. And it's uh, a day or so away. Uh, just hang in there and we'll see what's going to happen. Okay. Do you have any supplies? What did you get? Did you prepare? Anything like that? Uh, we, have, uh, we have crews ready to come on to help out the restaurant industry. Uh, we can't help anybody else. But that's what we do. We do uh, food food service facilities. So for your food, you're just going to go to the restaurant tab, right? I guess. For you to eat, what you oh, eat. Oh, we eat, we eat, 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 eat. <laughs> look at me, look, look, this, this is uh, very, you know, uh, I don't, it didn't just grow on me. I guess I, I had a, a day or two in the restaurants. Yeah, right. too right. much. Good. All right. Thank you so Did much. Did we overdo this? Not at all. <laughs> oh, okay, cool.
in Kill Devil Hills. Standing in the rain and you're talking to him. Not too good. 
right there coming through Merlot Beach, the water had washed over pretty badly, but one mile north of the new bridge, water had washed over so severely that there was actually driftwood and debris all in the road, and it was extremely bad. I almost not made it through the, during high tide tonight. What are you telling the cars coming the other way? I'm telling them to be very careful uh, to turn around and go back because right there a mile north of the new bridge, it is not good. There's debris coming across the highway. Y'all seen it? Yeah. Waves breaking across, breaking across the road. Y'all seen it? Right. I shined my headlights and it was really, it was awesome. Nothing right. quite like the, the Atlantic coming across and going to wash you off the highway. Right. Now tomorrow the storm is still going to be to the south, so it's still going to be blowing the same direction, stronger winds. I mean, how do you think that's going to fare? A lot worse, because like last year uh, in Hurricane Irene, at the stoplight in Avon, we got a documented six foot of water. You know, at the stoplight, people don't believe that, but I mean, it was six foot deep at the stoplight in Avon. That's a lot of water. How much more do you think it's going to take for them to shut this down? It ain't going to take much longer, I, I assure you. I don't think it's going to take long at all. Okay. Uh, not for tonight, anyway. It might be open back up in the morning after high tide, but but not tonight. All right. Well, another high tide is 12 hours from now, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, anything else you want to say about it while we're out here? What uh, do you say to the drivers? Advise the drivers. Be extremely careful. Extremely careful. What car coming? Sorry. Yeah, we need to let them know, too, because they ain't going to... Ain't no way you're going to be able to make it through one mile north of the new bridge. There is no way that that car is going to make it through. There ain't no way. Y'all seen how bad it was? Yeah, it's terrible. I was terrified. <laughs> All right. Go Good. Spell it for me. Uh, Ray Midget, R A Y M I D G E T T. Okay, you related to like Midget Realty? Uh, I'm just one of the many midgets here on the Outer Banks. Uh, okay. I, I can't say we're related, but none of us claim to be. Oh, oh sorry. Guess there are a lot of midgets on the island here, around here. We got a phone book full of midgets, yes. Okay. Good? Okay. Uh, so, how come you're coming down here to the bridge? Uh, I guess I'm just curious, like a lot of the local people down here, I was just riding out and looking at the beach uh, and uh, seeing what the wind was doing here at the inlet and was particularly interested in our nourishment project to see how that was doing, uh, how the ocean was treating that. This is the first real test that we've had on that beach nourishment project and uh, okay. it's going to be interesting to see. So how is this uh, storm doing? At, 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 it was forecast to be you know, somewhat strong. Do you think? It's, what do you think of it so far? Uh, 
so far it's uh, it's pretty pretty strong. Uh, it's an entirely different storm than we had with Isabel, as you probably know. Isabel came inland and went to the west of us, and this was going out to the east of us. We're hoping we don't get the kind of tidal flooding we had with Isabel, but I'm afraid we're going to get some, and just we're crossing our fingers that it don't get as bad. Right. So, How does this look compared to Irene? Uh, so far, uh, uh, if it holds up, uh, uh, other than down on Hatteras Island, I'm sure they're having a terrible time down there. Up on this end, I think we just got a lot of wind and water and sand on the beach, but I haven't heard of any real damage. Okay, so you haven't seen a bit, any that much damage at all so far? Uh, not up on the northern beaches here. As I say, uh, we're losing some sand on the beach, but uh, beyond that, I haven't noticed any more. Okay. Uh, I just feel for the folks on Hatteras Island. All right, cool. Thank you so much for your help. All right, drive safely. So far, there, okay, we've got easily got 30 to 40 mile an hour winds right here. And so far, we haven't seen a lot of damage from those winds of Sandy. This dunster, we kind of disagree, it's been blowing over sideways. Like that, yeah, that's good. Okay. Thank you, Wind, for coming back. Let's get a nice big gust here. Okay. So, the winds are easily blowing 30 or 40 miles an hour here. But so far, these winds haven't caused a lot of damage from Sandy, but this dumpster would tend to disagree. It's been blown up from sideways. I'll stretch it. Ready? We've easily got 30 to 40 mile an hour winds here, the strongest that we've been out in so far. And those strong winds haven't done a whole lot of damage from Sandy, at least that's what we've seen. This dumpster would tend to disagree.
south of you. Uh, I don't, I don't have. Okay, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be back in about 15 minutes. We're just south of you guys. Yeah, I'll just go.